Blockchain technology is essentially distributed database technology. You have a huge system where everybody who's accessing the database actually holds a copy of the database. And the whole idea is that this uh, copy can be verified through a different kind of consensus mechanism. Normally, you would just have one central actor saying, well, this is the correct copy. But now you have a system where you might have a thousand, you might have 10, you might have 10,000 copy out there, nodes in the database structure. All of these nodes individually can see if the copy they hold is actually the correct one. You can build these databases without having to agree that there will be a centralized person or consortium or company or government that controls it. So in that sense, it's, it's really revolutionary, and very new. It's gonna impact uh, eventually uh, a lot of different areas. Blockchain technology came out of the Bitcoin system. The biggest financial institutions in the world are looking into this technology today. If I was to point to one area where it's obvious that the financial sector already today are trying to reap the benefits of this kind of technology, then it's in the area of uh, reconciliation to enable more people to rely on fewer databases. What is interesting about blockchain technology is to relate it to the early ideas about cyberspace and, and internet as an area where there was no regulation, where governments had no business. And you see that same thing happening within blockchain and Bitcoin. A very short time after, everybody understood that the internet is not a lawless area. It's probably today one of the most regulated area in the world. And this is obviously also going to happen with blockchain technology. It might be in the beginning that nobody's got a clue about how it's regulated. The question is not whether this is going to happen, but whether it's going to happen in a way that enables this technology to flourish, or it's actually going to hinder it. But it's going to happen. It's going to be one of the most regulated uh, areas that we will ever see because it's so important. Smart contracts are essentially in this uh, situation uh, the fact that you can actually embed contractual terms into computer code. If this happens, then this should happen and so on. And this is essentially also the way that lawyers are drafting contracts. What is interesting when you compare the fact that you can put contractual terms into code with the blockchain technology, you have a, a complete system. Part of those transactions might be self executable autonomous contracts that there's a huge potential in smart contracts but we also need to have we need to figure out how these contracts work together with the normal system everybody is trying to innovate uh, at the edges of blockchain technology. You will see every day that somebody is coming up with new solutions. If you look into blockchain technology applied to uh, databases and look into the regulation of personal data, you might have some challenges there because normally our concept of data protection for personal data is based on the fact that there is a data owner and a data controller. And uh, you could argue that the whole concept of the decentralized database is that there is no a centralized owner. It's a big challenge for, for regulators to understand what that means, applying the underlying pr principles as it was when we were faced with e-commerce and internet. So how should businesses look at blockchain? Could they use distributed databases for cost savings? Could we establish a whole new business, a whole new stream of revenue? by putting things into a database that we could never put into a database before because it was simply too costly and create a totally new way of engaging and selling services to company, to their customers. And obviously the most revolutionary game-changing application of blockchain technology is going to be in areas where everybody can join uh, a database. You don't have to have somebody that you trust in order to rely on a database. And in all those areas where it would be so costly to establish a database, you can now use blockchain technology.